welcome to the Holly Jolly Life. I'm here in my humble home kitchen on this good Sunday morning. And today I'm going to be showing you how we are making loaded mashed potatoes. We're having a church potluck this morning and this is one thing that does not need to be made overnight. It needs to be made right whenever you walk out the door to be the best. You can go ahead and stick it in a crock pot and put it on warm and then just take it with you whenever you leave the house and that's what I do. So this is a real easy recipe and we're just going to get right into it because I don't want to be late. I have 12 full cups of water in my pot. I am, the recipe calls for 18 tablespoons of butter, but I'm going to use 16 because I'm going to be putting sour cream and cheese and bacon in there. This is what you call butter fingers. That just slipped right out of my hands. For this recipe, we just want it simple and easy. So we're gonna be cheating a little bit and use some box mashed potatoes. No one's gonna know. Just rip the tops off because you're gonna need the whole thing on both of them. You're gonna want something stiff to stir this with. This will have to work because it's what I have. We just want our butter to get good and melted. I have about a tablespoon of salt in there and then the butter is salted and then we're going to be putting sour cream and cheese and bacon and all that already has salt you don't want to over salt it. The recipe says to add the milk at the end like after you put the potato flakes in there but I'm already going to be um that's fine. I'm already gonna be adding more cold stuff to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the milk boiling. One, and I'm gonna have to change clothes because I'm spilling stuff all over me. Two, three, four, five, six. This, comes, this calls for three cups of milk per box. We're using two boxes. That's gonna make 36 servings. I've been busy this morning. I also have a ham going in the crock pot and um, that's an easy way to do ham, by the way. If you got a ham and you need to heat it up, you can just stick it in the crock pot on high for about six hours. Um, four to six hours, anywhere in there is fine. As long as it's hot all the way through. And um, I made my sweet pies mac and cheese, got that going in the oven my version of that and I'm fixing to assemble the banana pudding and yesterday I made three honey bun cakes. All of this for the potluck today. The milk, the butter, the salt in there and then we're going to add in our potato flakes. And it gets hard to stir all this up. I may have to have my husband help me. Oh, we're gonna turn the heat off. Put everything on the ground. Add in some fresh black pepper. This is optional. I just really like pepper. I'm going to put this whole 16 ounce container of sour cream in here. Okay. Mix that in. Did 
this isn't as hard whenever you're just making it for your family for dinner. This would be a good Thanksgiving recipe. It's a good anytime recipe. I've made it for cooking steak out on the grill and we didn't want to do baked potatoes, but we wanted like a good baked potato flavor. Harder. <laughs> That's about a pound and a quarter of cheese. We'll be jack. And some bacon bits. This is a challenge package and I'll probably put five ounces in there. Oh, if I just use the side of the pan for leverage, it's easier. Thank you for watching the Holly Jolly Life. Let me show you how I make my loaded mashed potato. Like, share, and subscribe. If you think that you might try this, make sure you have somebody strong to stir it because it is hard to stir. And, um, but this is one of my most requested, another one of my most requested sides to bring to Pollock. So I hope you got some value out of this video and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.